uh, how do you decide uh, how much dividend to pay as a matter of fact uh, uh, this is the question that i thought of discussing in the cost of in the context of the cash flow statement uh, so in a way we are discussing the cash flow statement uh, so the the how do you decide uh, how much dividend should be paid by a company remember uh, the amount of dividend that a company will have to pay uh, will be based on uh, the obligations that the company has only after the obligations and the business needs are taken care of then whatever remains company can decide to pay dividend so let's understand it this way so what are the obligations that the company will have a company will have number 1 uh, you are a growing company as a growing company you have to augment your working capital so you need to spend more money on the working capital so whatever profit that you have earned part of that profit will go into the working capital uh, number 2 uh, you are a company uh, it is possible that you may have taken certain loans so if you have taken certain loans so you need to repay them and where do you repay the loans from you repay the loans from the profit that you earn so uh, from the cash that you have generated uh, your the working capital uh, uh, is taken care of repayment is taken care of after that you also have to do routine capex remember you are a running company and uh, as a running company uh, you have to incur ensure that all your plant and machinery are in working condition and for them to work in condition you need to spend money on the routine cop capex cop capital expenditure so part of your cash profit will go into the routine capital expenditure <clears throat> now obviously uh, you are a, a business uh, you are a running business you are a profitable business and you are in the business for all times to come and therefore uh, you would always like to grow so therefore what you would like that part of the profit you would like to use for the purpose of organic growth opportunity organic growth opportunity that means what that means you would like to spend money on modernization expansion diversification de bottlenecking and things like that so part of the cash that you have generated will be spent on the organic growth remember uh, organic growth uh, ultimately we all are in business and we are in business not for uh, a year or two we are in business for infinity and therefore not only we would like to grow organically we may also like to grow inorganically that means by taking acquiring the company uh, uh, you know taking over the company and that is where again we will need money and this money will come from the cash that we have generated now uh, having done all this uh, it is also possible that sometime you may may like to make a strategic investment so uh, you may not be acquiring a company you may not be doing uh, 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 diversification or expansion but you may like to take a strategic stake in your customer company or in your vendor company so as to influence their decision making so as to suit your requirement so sometimes you also need money for a strategic uh, investment now having done all this if you are still left some money then you can decide to pay dividend then you can decide to pay dividend after paying or taking care of all, all, all this so uh, i am sure uh, you understand this how do you take a decision of dividend you take a decision of dividend number 1 taking into account the business needs and this number 1 and number 2 taking into account the investors need so it is quite possible that the investors may insist uh, to receive to receive a dividend and ultimately company is owned by the shareholders by the investors so you also has has to honor their expectations so uh, taking these factors you will take a decision as to how much dividend the company should pay i hope this answers your question